Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of simple and compound probabilities. This is standard 7.6i in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 30 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a bag containing flavored lollipops and a lollipop. So that's just one. It's going to be randomly selected from the bag. And so we've got grape, cherry, watermelon, and strawberry. So we need the probability in decimal form. So you notice there's no F, G, H, or J to choose from. We are going to have to fill this in in our gradable response. That the lollipop will either be cherry or watermelon. So when we are looking at cherry or watermelon, well, let's take a look. We can just look at each of those individually, and then we can add them up, because that's really what this or means, is we can add those up. So cherry is going to be, I'm going to put the C over total. Let's see, cherry is 8 over, what's my total? Let me see, um, 17. Eight, it's quite a lot. Fourteen, sixteen. So that's ten, and that eight and seven is fifteen. Ten and fifteen is twenty-five. So two, three, four, five. All right, so fifty-five. So eight out of fifty-five. Can't reduce that. Uh, let's see what we have for our watermelon. So we've got our watermelon over our total. Watermelon is 14 out of 55. Okay, so 14 out of 55. So if I wanted to add these two, right, that's what this means. We've got our 8 out of 15 plus our 14, not 15, 55. That would make a difference out of 55. So let's add those two. 14 out of 55. All right, so 8 and 14 is 22. We don't add the denominators. So there we go. Our combined probability is 22 out of 55. And holy cow, that is not something that you can put into a gridable response. We need to turn this into a decimal. Here's what I don't want to do. I don't want to divide up right now. I don't want to just, I mean, I could. But 55 into 22? No, thank you. So they're not both even. Uh, so I can't divide by 2. But Jake, look at this. I've got the same digit in the 10s and the 1s place. And that makes me think of 11s. Uh, so let's see what happens if I can divide both of these by 11. It's kind of a, it's, it's a strange number. We typically don't uh, reduce by 11s, but in this case, look at this. 11 times 2 makes 22, right? And then 11 times 5 makes 55. Now, 2 fifths is a lot easier than 22 over 55. 22 50 fifths, I guess. So let's turn this into a decimal. 2 fifths, divide up. So 2 cannot go in there, and there we go. 5 goes into 24 times. You also could have just done this. You could have uh, doubled, right? You could have gotten 4 tenths, and that also equals 4 tenths. So we just need to put this into our little gridable response right here. And so you are going to get... Uh, a very thin column right there with the decimal. Can't bubble in anything underneath that. You've got four digits to the left, two digits to the right. So our four tenths, the most important one, is going to be this four right here to the right of the decimal. We have to bubble that in. That's really all you need. If you want to put a zero to the left, you can. You can even put a zero in the hundredths place. doesn't really matter, but you just need that four in the tenths. 